What's up guys, I'm Cosmic Combs, and tomorrow on November 1st, the Brawl Stars World Finals will start all weekend until November 3rd. Yep, this only happens once a year, and in this video, I'll be talking about how you can get free rewards in Brawl Stars, and as usual, I'll put up video chapters so you can skip between different sections if you do want, or just watch through the entire thing. I'm sure the video won't be that long. Now, essentially, the World Finals, as I said, only happens once a year, and you can probably guess that the rewards are gonna be pretty good. And most, I think, will probably be exclusive, and that's probably just the pins. Uh, so there are 9 total rewards, and each one can be claimed each day while the event is running. Again, November 1st, which is tomorrow, Friday, to November 3rd, which is Sunday. In order to vote and claim rewards, head over to event.supercell.com slash brawlstars and sign into the website with your Supercell ID. I will leave the link in the description, so you know you don't have to search it. Uh, it's right there if you need it. Now, I'll start off with talking about the rewards which you can actually get from the event. On day 1, there are 3 rewards. A spike trophy pin, 8 star drops, and a ranked star drop. That's 1 ranked star drop. And to get the spike trophy reward, you need to collect 100 points, which you can pretty much get for free just from voting on day 1. Well, you can actually vote now, um, so you might want to do that. I'll talk a bit about voting later on, but for the 8 star drops, you get one every 100 points from 200 to 900, so there is a star drop at 200, there is a star drop at 300, etc, all the way to 900. And for the rank drop, you need 1000 points, and I'll talk about how to get points again in a bit, but moving on to day 2, there are another free rewards which you can get. There are 3 star drops, a melting trophy pin, and a legendary star drop. Now, 2 star drops are unlocked at 1000. 100 points and 1200 points. The pin is unlocked at 1300 points and there's an extra star drop at 1400 points and there is a legendary star drop which is unlocked at 1500 points. Uh, that's 1500. I know I'm kind of swapping between the numbers here. It's just how I'm reading off my script. But um, the legendary star drop is probably going to be the one you want to get because you can get hypercharge in that. But on finally, on day 3, the final rewards include 3 star drops, a glitch trophy pin, and at the end there is a hypercharge star drop, which I think is what everyone kind of wants to get. Now the 3 star drops are unlocked at 1600, 1700, and 1900 points, and the pin is at 1800 points, so that's in between the 2nd and the 3rd star drop. The hypercharge drop is at 2000 points, and is the final reward of the event. And I think that is going to be what everyone is going to be working for. However, you can't actually just, you know, get through the entire thing on day one, as there are actually caps on how many points you can collect on a day. Now, on day one, the track is capped at 1,000 points, which is the rank star drop. On day two, the track is capped at 1,500 points, which is the legendary star drop. And on day three, the track is capped at 2,000 points, which is the hypercharge star drop. But I don't think that really matters since 2,000 points is pretty much the last reward so I don't know why you would be going over anyways. Uh, so how do you actually earn points? Well that's actually pretty simple. Now as I mentioned before you can get points from voting and that, that's pretty much how you can get the spike pin guaranteed and the link for voting site is in the description as I mentioned earlier. However if you vote for the correct winner you get an additional 150 points which is massive. So you want to vote carefully if you vote for the winning team off a certain match then you get that extra points and in theory if you vote correctly I think you can get through the entire event uh, without actually interacting during the uh, actual esports live stream and when I say interacting well yes you can actually earn points from watching the world finals every game you can get additional 10 points from cheering for the team you voted for sometimes Brawl Stars will throw in a random quiz question where you can actually get 10 points for answering and if you answer it correctly you get another 40 points so that's 50 points in total at the end of each match as well you get to vote for an mvp of your choice and you get a guaranteed 100 points from doing so so you're definitely going to be wanting to watch the world finals and if you want you can interact during the event to earn those extra points in case you don't vote for the correct team and also just watch to support finalists. I mean, the games do get quite tense and exciting, so uh, I'll definitely be watching and supporting my favorite teams which are playing. Now, who do you actually vote for? Now, I know at the time of this video, 
the voting came up at uh, October 28th, which was actually a couple of days ago. So most of you probably have voted by now. If you haven't yet, again, link in the description. But I'm not going to give an exact answer for who I think will actually win this. Now, I have made votes. I'll put it on the screen. But Brawl Stars has given some things to help make your voting easier. There are 12 teams featured from around the world. And on the predictions page, you'll be able to see a short video which kind of gives a... Uh, I guess summary about the team and if you scroll down there are actually some extra info about the season win rates their home region and placements and even the player profiles of the players now hopefully these will make your votes easier but uh, I'll be making my own predictions though again uh, my votes or predictions are on the screen you can copy them if you want but just as a disclaimer I might not be right with some of these I mean I think a lot of these will be pretty close but uh, yeah once again the event lasts from November 1st to November 3rd and and the event will start at 1.30 p.m. UTC and uh, you can actually just see your start time in your time zone if you just visit event.supercell.com slash brawlstars. But uh, yeah, if you if this video did help, do consider liking and subscribing. And as always, remember, this is Cosmic Hunts blasting off and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.